Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of all Titos or uncles around the world. Possibly a few, but definitely not all. Hey, kamusta at your Tito E-Boy, also known as The Goat. Or the greatest of all Titos, and welcome back to the channel. So, <clears throat> I, was, I was just reminiscing the time that the last trip that the family had. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I mean, going towards my birthday, it was like the last weekend of January. And the family went to this uh, resort in... Bataan called La Jolla, and you know there are times when you're when you feel stressed or you're, when you're tired or when you're anxious about anything. The the only way to get out of that is to relax. Well, at least for me. Um, whew, I I miss the place. I like I like I like the, the atmosphere. It's like a few meters past um, Las Casas, the one, the one in the theme today, medio old Filipino houses. Um, I feel that the place is medio gimmicky because of the theme. Uh, take the theme away, then it's just big. Uh, I wasn't a fan of their their cottages because they have mga lumang bahay. So they creepy feeling. But at least itong si La Jolla, medyo modern siya. Um, and you can easily go around, you can walk. Or, which I preferred was to ride their shuttle. Because it's easy to call from the, from you call the, the front desk. And they will send the shuttle to pick you up and to drop you off anywhere around the property. Um, and, yeah. And it's a, still a development in progress because it's a lot of things But for the current state that it was when we went, it's good enough. Uh, perfect for everyone. If you're, I am, I am not a beach person. I, I, I like, I'd rather be in the pool where I feel it's contained and it's organized. And, um, and because I'm not a beach person, I don't want to be beach but you know they kind of held they they held up on their own, um, especially when their 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 older cousin was there, Ate Jingai. So they kind of like had a free pass to do anything and everything that they wanted, because they knew Ate nila that would protect them and to guide them. So it's okay. Um, aside from that, the place was comfortable. I would say uh, I liked the uh, the the one the first night that we were there. There was like this duo singing and playing. One playing the guitar and, or one playing the keyboard, sorry. And there was a singer. And uh, as I mentioned in a few videos, when we were there, um, she was good because I think she was able to imitate the original singer, and that's what you would really want when you hear. Somebody do covers because it's either you know you if you're gonna do covers you imitate if you want to do your own style then write your own music that's well that's at least for me or in the words of C. Francis Magalona and you know it's either you do you copy it exactly or do a better job I think the girl that the singer kind of nailed it on the head so. Um, the other day, yesterday, I was talking about the Ionic 5 and I was so, I wouldn't say obsessed about it, you know, I, I mean, I wasn't planning on getting it anytime soon, but the, I loved it enough that I actually went and scheduled for a test drive. Oddly enough, the Hyundai website didn't have it listed, but when you go to autodeal.com.ph, you can find it and then 
there's an option in that website for you to uh, schedule a test drive. And somebody from at least any of the local dealerships would get in touch. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have... Uh, the, the closest from my place was in Alabang and it did not have a unit for test drive. And wala pa, even in the showroom, just to watch, just to view. And they said that it's coming out somewhere mid-March. So I'm hoping to get, try it, to still try it out and get a test drive. Just, you know, it's interesting. I want to I wanna try it out. So for this year, um, I wanted to see, wanted to see the things that I'm aiming for in my goals for some some sort of like a vision board but you know because of technology we don't have magazines anymore so ni kumagawa yung the traditional way of making um vision boards you kuha ang cartolina tapos gugupitin mo yung the, the either the pictures or letters to form with that so what i did was <clears throat> at least list down the items that i want i wish to have this year and actually their prices, but at least I see the feed every once in a while and I can reach for that. If I put it and you know, get it. Um, crazily enough, I added the Ionic 5 to the list. And the more that I see it, the more I like, I want to have it because it's an SUV. It's an electric, a fully electric SUV. Um, do I want do, would I rather have a Tesla? Yeah, but I don't think it's good. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna take a while before we get an, a Tesla here in the Philippines. So, Mukhanam and Oyasi Ionic Five. Um, the head unit is like I, like I said yesterday. The head unit is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable. So that kind of kind of makes things a little more interesting because you don't need to set up the dashboard or whatever because you can connect to Bluetooth and everything is on the dashboard everything is on the head unit so Waze, Spotify, whatnot so I'm trying to try that out today being a Sunday it was just a rest day for me um, I went to church, played in the morning uh, I went home, we had lunch Rested. No, I went out. Ah, yeah. Today was my second, um, second chiropractic session with my doctor, and it was more. We did a lot more cracking than talking, so that's always a win. Um, we're going to have another. The next session will be on Tuesday. Um, feeling positive that. There will be a little more adjustments and be able to get to or to, to to see a bigger difference. Yeah. Ko siya. Yeah, I'll color my beard tomorrow before I go after my chiropractic adjustment, and I'll probably swing by the barber shop and have it trimmed and. Yeah. So that's it for today's vlog. Uh, hope you guys had a good weekend.